Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is just a little info video that I wanted to put out on uh, different ways I style some of my uh, clothing to make get more than one style out of them. And um, so, yeah, so I'm not going to uh, do a whole long intro. For those who know me, I'm Sylvia Combs Tolson. Uh, Facebook page, I Candy for You, I K A N D A I, the number four, the letter U. And um, that's fancy in the background. She's not allowed downstairs here. And so she's fussing about that. So I apologize in advance. So uh, yeah, I got a couple of uh, a jumps. I've got this jumpsuit. I've got a Mac and two maxi dresses. And I want to show you how I style them and get more than one wear. So I've got this jumper on, a uh, jumpsuit. And as you can see, it's actually a sleeveless. I've got this t-shirt on for two reasons. One, um, is because I'm going to be changing and styling. I want you guys to see without me having to leave or you don't need to see everything I have underneath here, okay? And then the second is um, for my conservative people, I grew up with um, Kojic and um, PKs, okay? So as a, you know, as a teenager, as a young lady, my girlfriends, you know, they wanted to wear the trendy stuff, but some of the stuff they could not wear, you know, family would not allow it, parents or whatever, or even, you know, didn't even necessarily have to be a PK or anything like that. But, um, you know, if you came from a conservative dressing family, uh, this was ways the kids learn to rock things and still be in style. And so I just kind of, some of these things I pick up. So, um, so yeah, so you want to wear the little tank top, the little tank dress or sh sleeveless sh dress, shirt, whatever it is. Throw you a little t-shirt underneath. That's all you got to do. You got, all of this is covered, okay? Ah. Uh, if you really want to be a little daring, you can put on a tank top and have a little more arm and shoulder out. But this is one way to rock a um, sleeveless top or dress or what have you. Okay, so I've got this on regular plain jumpsuit, okay? I've got a little belt on right here. Um, this belt is not what I would actually wear with this. I just grabbed a belt, okay? Um, stepping back so you get the full length. I got my little shoes on and all of that good stuff, okay? So that's the normal way, okay? So my second way of wearing this would be to pull the top down. See why I've got a t-shirt underneath? Pull the top down and kind of um, pull that ruffle there. And then just kind of go underneath there. Make sure the ruffle, the elastic from the ruffle is around your waist. Okay. And I don't know if I got the back good or not. But um, yeah, so there you go. So now I've just got a pair of slacks, a pair of uh, wide leg pants with a little peplum on there. And it looks super duper cute. Okay. And then there's also a third way of wearing this cutie piece here. Okay. You can just take the peplum and put it inside of itself. And then you don't, you have the pants with no peplum. And then again, uh, you know, if you want to make that look nice and neat, you can just neaten it up with your little belt. And y'all ignore my fupa. <laughs> ignore my fupa, okay? And there you got pants, okay? So maybe you're out during the day, you're wearing the pants, you're out doing this, that, and the other, you got the pants on. Uh, it's evening time, you go into a little sore way, then you can pull up and wear the little dress or, or the little jumpsuit, okay? But yeah, that's how I rock uh, this one, all right? So I'm going to pause you and then I'll come back with the other one. Okay, I'm back and I've got the next piece on. I think I might have it on crooked, but because uh, <laughs> uh, there's a seam right there. But uh, anyway, I've got the next piece on this cute, cute little sundress with the elephants on it. Love those elephants. It is a uh, maxi length sundress, so it's going all the way down. Again, you know, you, maybe you love elephants. You love that print. You really would like to rock this, but, uh, you know, it's not conservative enough. Put that t-shirt on and go ahead and rock it, rock it, rock it, okay? 
So there we go with this one. And for this one, all I'm going to do, it doesn't have the peplum on it. So this one I would just take and uh, put the top down inside. Put the top down inside. And uh, again, put the belt on. Put the belt on. Again, ignore my fupa. <laughs> And there you have a pretty little maxi dress you could wear to work, to church, out shopping, at the farmer's market, uh, hanging out with your girls, whatever, however, you know. So look at things with uh, different perspectives, okay? I have one more uh, maxi dress I'm going to show you, okay? Hang on right there. I'm sorry, my clicker is not working, so I have to do this manually. Okay, yeah, I'm breathing all hard and everything. <laughs> okay, so here is the last dress. This is a maxi dress, okay? She's a halter style, so she ties around the neck. She also has a uh, attached little belt here, and I've got that tied in the back. You could tie it to the front or however. Here you go, conservative, you know, not a lot of uh, skin out. Uh, just put that little t-shirt underneath it. Here is the back. As you can see, there's the tie and uh, the tie up here. Okay, so this one here, I absolutely love. First of all, I love this pattern on her. Okay, do you see that beautiful pattern? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so one of the first things I'll do with this one is uh, we'll undo this, take it down, and um, go ahead, stick that inside and make it into a maxi skirt, okay? So by now, y'all probably like, yeah, 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 we figured that one out, okay? <laughs> make it into a maxi skirt, put the little belt on, okay? I, I would tuck the black belt on the inside as well. I know I got it tied up back there, but I would tuck it in also, okay? There we go, we got a nice, cute little maxi skirt, all righty? Okay, <laughs> okay, so that's that way. Okay, another thing that we can do with this lovely because she's got those straps. Remember those long straps that go around the halter? Well, I meant to show you on that elephant dress, but you know, a lot of the times the young girls now they'll take like one side and ruch it up and pin it, and you know show a whole lot of thigh okay but you can do it without showing a lot of thigh so what i did with this one is i went down underneath and there was that tie okay and i kind of got it and i didn't bring pins with me doggone it so i grabbed the tie i tuck it in underneath or right there okay and then you can just pin it pin it and there you got that little ruching it's not all up here up here unless you pull it you can pull it as high as you want to i'm just putting mine at the that area so that's one sided and if i wanted to with this one because it is a halter where's that other strap here's the other strap i could do that as well over here on this side and have like a little double ruching so um and then let me go ahead and put the belt on. And I hate I can't get this thing to, uh, it won't go down the, it won't tilt down. Let me see if I can get something going on. It just does not want to tilt it down. Okay, let me see. All right, so see, you get the picture here. And see, I'm not showing a whole lot of leg and thigh or anything. Just the bottom part of my legs really are showing, okay? And I'm sorry, y'all know I am not the photographer, filmer, all that kind of stuff. And I got, this is a different setup than what I have upstairs. So, so yeah, I would wear her like this as well. So one or two sides up. Very cute little skirt. You go into the little festival or what have you. Put your jewelry on. Maybe you got a denim uh, vest to put on with it or however. But, yep, this is, um, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, did it not record my whole session? This is how I style a couple of these pieces. 
So um, that's all I got for you for now. And uh, I was going to take pictures and put the pictures, but you can't see with just the pictures how I got it. So that's what this video is about. How did I restyle these pieces and make them into some even cuter pieces? Okay. All righty. So thank you guys so much for checking me out. And um, be sure to check out my Facebook page, which is I Candy for You, I K A N D A I the number four, the letter U. Go over there, like the page, and um, you'll see this video there as well as where I go live because I do, I am a reseller, so I do Facebook Lives, and it will let you know where I'm live next, okay? And by the way, this dress, um, the elephant dress, and the... Um, what was the first? Oh, the leopard pants uh, jumpsuit are all for sale if you're interested. If you're interested, just leave me a message. Say I'm interested in whichever one. The, the red dress, the elephant dress, or the leopard jumpsuit, okay? Let me know which one you're interested in. These are all inexpensive. I, I can tell you now the jumpsuit is only going to be $8. The uh, elephant dress is $10, and this dress here would be $12. Okay, and they're all, um, see, this one's a large. Let me double check on the sizes while we're talking. Because I'm looking over here at them. <laughs> this here is a large. The elephant dress is a large. Okay, the animal print here is a, I think it's a large also. Cause I wear a large, I can wear mediums. This is a medium, it's a stretchy medium. As you see, it fit me as a large nicely, okay? So small or large, you can wear, she's got lots of stretch to her. This one is a cotton fabric, so it is not stretchy. Uh, let me see if I can find the size real quick. This one is a medium, it is a medium. Um, it fits me, it does have this elastic in the back here, so that helps it. But uh, yeah, you need to have a, uh, about a medium or a small large. Okay, now I'm all twisted up. <laughs> okay, so just message me if you're interested in any of the pieces. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. And we'll see you next time. Smooches. Mwah.